This video shows the proper assembly of an infiltrator potable tank for rainwater harvesting. The first step is to place the bottom portion on a flat level surface and put the dowels in each point to connect the tanks. On the potable tanks you want to use a food grade silicone. There's a couple other manufacturers out there, out there but this is the one that we got. So, so you're, with this all you're doing is moving up the gasket. Get it a good lube so that when you put the top half on, You also kind of want to just inspect that gasket while you're make doing sure that. It's, make it's sure it's pushed down in there good. Before we go and put them all the way around, we want to put these posts in. We'll, we'll show you the posts that go in. So I just put the four corners on first, and on the corners, the clips just face each other. And if you'll see on these clips, I got a little notch on them. There's a notch on the tank. That you just want to make sure to hammer that home. Um, you don't want to hammer it past and break the notch off. You know, if you do, it's not going to be detrimental towards the tank. But so you just take the corners, and I'll let y'all do it in the next couple. Of so you just take the corners and use these little dog ears, hammer them on. And I kind of hold the clip at an angle to get it started. Give it a hammer and then it, and then it just kind of slides on as you go. So what's, what you'll see here is there's a little notch right here. Um, and you want to line the bottom half in first and then kind of just align that in here and then just knock it in with your hand or hammer if it, you, you might be able to compression it in with your hand just give it Mike here's a mallet you got a rubber yeah, yeah. Be better. so just give it a good knock and then and then it's it's in so it's going to be a little loose initially and when we put the clips on it clamps down a little right. bit harder so there's three more spots gotcha throughout the tank that you see where these posts go risers okay. they also have a notch in them just like those lids so if you line that notch up with the notch on the tanks your screw holes here will all, all line up line up as well so perfect what we're going to do when we oh here i can show you this one actually uh, since this one doesn't have so you line that that notch up right there it gotcha. lines your screw holes up for you so when we get down there in the hole what we're going to do is we're going to take our isi 1500 sealant and put basically one bead here in the groove mm -hmm. and then another one alongside it and just you know real generous two two beads and then you're going to line that up and push that straight down so that that sealant seeps out on both sides okay. and then what i do is just like a plumber does you know, put a glove on take take my finger on the inside of the riser and just smooth that sealant out so it seals real good on the inside um and then just you like got your right? yeah just like a bead call so and that'll give you that watertight seal between the riser tank cool and then the lid fits right on top of that after assembling the infiltrator potable tank be sure to place the tank on a flat level surface for any placement questions please contact the local manufacturer or distributor